I know this seems crazy, right? But really, it's not. Now, doubling, tripling our catch rate, or maybe even more, this, this video is not some magic pill or some secret hack. This video is based on using bass behavior to our advantage, and it works so very well. The biggest thing that anglers do that hold back their catch rate, that keeps them at a five fish evening instead of 10, or a 10 instead of a 20, is when they catch a fish, they keep moving on down the bank. And I know that seems so just like obvious, but it is something that happens all the time. Think about our own fishing. We go out, we catch one, we just keep going and going and going and going. Well, if you watch some of the very best professional anglers, they oftentimes will find an area and then they just fish it, fish it, fish it, fish it, fish it. They sit there and they work that school over again and again and again and change up lures to keep that bite going. And I'll tell you, that's one thing. If I've learned anything from spending so many hours filming underwater is that bass are in groups, schools, way more than we often realize. And yes, there's times when you're going to catch that lone fish and there's nothing else around. But man, if you find one, there is something in that spot, that location, that area, that if one fish likes it, probably a bunch of others do as well. It could be the way the current's coming through. It could be because of the wind. It could be a depth or contour change. Maybe where a couple different types of cover come together. But for whatever reason, if that fish is comfortable, that one that you catch, there's a very, very good chance there's more down there with it. I can't even tell you how many times I've caught multiple bass off the same piece of cover. And I mean by throwing that lure exactly in the same spot. I'll never forget one time when I was in Iowa, there was this stump that was just barely in the water. It was about half in the water. It was pretty shallow. And I threw up there three times, and in three consecutive casts, I pulled a three-pounder off of that stump absolutely crazy and this is what can happen over and over again but we have to make a conscious effort as anglers to take the time and to deliberately fish that area carefully now the very best anglers in the world approach these situations and they'll usually have at least two maybe three or four lures specifically chosen to work this type of situation or this school over a very popular combination that you will see a one-two punch that you see all the time is a deep diving crankbait to find that school find those fish catch a bunch of them and when that bite slows down or stops pick up a Carolina rig and do it all over again. Another good one-two punch I've seen and used myself is a hard jerk bait, and then go ahead and follow it up with something like a shaky head. Works so, so well. But think about that school down there positioned in a very, very tight area. I know, no crazy secret hack here, right? This isn't some magic pill, like I said earlier. It's just using bass behavior, the way they behave, and taking advantage of it as anglers. Now, hey, if you try that, and I mean everything is just not working, here's a video on what I do when all else fails. This is what I look for. Go ahead and check this one out right here. And hey, make sure to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.